It is a uh, special call meeting for uh, architectural presentations. Uh, we're here to listen to the architects that are here today to tell us a little bit about this company and uh, their qualifications for the design of the city park or city center park. So. First on our list would be Godwin Goodwin, Mills and Kaywood. Hey, but well, we answered anything. <laughs> hey, you. That's fine with us. GMC? Yes, sir. <laughs> Always tell folks GMC, like the cars, but, yeah. uh, but we do architect and engineering, so that's fine. Now we do, we have a lot of, a lot of 15 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes in between architects, but uh, y'all can do it within 15 minutes and somewhere around that time frame would be great. But uh, we'll probably call time if it gets too long. That's <laughs> good. Good afternoon. We appreciate the opportunity. As you guys are aware, I am Rob Branch and have had the uh, privilege of serving as your engineer for several years now, and I definitely appreciate that opportunity. Uh, but one of the things in moving forward that we have done and we're extremely excited about is uh, Stevenson, Palmer, and Goodwin Mills and Kaywood has merged as one company. Uh, we are extremely excited about that because it does offer us a lot of different opportunities to open up into a lot of different uh, avenues of business and that type of thing. Uh, so now as I introduce myself to you as Robert Ramsey with Goodwin Mills and Kaywood. Uh, and I'm excited to do that. Uh, and we do feel that uh, we can continue serving you as we always have, uh, in the same manner that we always have, under the same deals that we, as we have always had as Stevenson Palmer. Uh, the relationship that you guys and I have remain the same and, and will continue to remain the same. Nothing has changed for you other than the name of where you get a bill from. <laughs> uh, but having said all that, what I'm going to do at this point is turn it over to uh, Jim Teal. This is Jim Teal. Uh, and he will go through the presentation and uh, kind of tell you more about the architectural side of Google Mills and Kaywood and what we can offer you guys in this project. Jim. Thank you, Robert. Hey, we are excited and uh, appreciate the opportunity. I tell you, we're really most excited about having Robert on our team. I, I know you all uh, had some time to work with him, but really love the way he approaches things and his team based in Albany. So just really briefly about GMC. Uh, so we're a regional firm, but the way we like to look at it is to be a regional firm with, with local service. And obviously, uh, Robert, we grew out of Alabama, uh, started back in the 40s, I guess you'd say, and now we have offices strategically placed around the southeast, but most most specifically here in Georgia. And my responsibility is Georgia. I also have a background in planning and also have a degree in construction. So what we're talking about today is uh, right in my love and wheelhouse, I guess you would say. But uh, so this project would be served out of the Albany office. Uh, hey, so we're a multidiscipline firm. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this, but uh, offer a lot of services and Robert alluded to it. So now because Robert and I are together, now we can offer a number of more things. Um, so we are, uh, I mentioned the regional experience, local service, but we got five offices in Georgia. Two of them are actually kind of in the metro Atlanta area. But we talk about parks and trails and streetscapes. Well, just in the past five or ten years, we've been fortunate to work with communities on over 40 of these type projects. You'll see a list of some of these and some examples in a second. You've seen some in your uh, packet you already have. But currently in Georgia, we're currently doing five projects that are of similar nature, and I'll show a couple of those before we get through it. I don't want to talk about much other than we've had some awards and we appreciate that recognition, but I think that shows you we work hard and uh, really work hard for our clients. These are our professionals and the way we're uh, distributed amongst our capabilities within the firm. Um, a couple of years ago, we started really looking at our firm, and I can, I can go on for another 10 minutes and tell you about our, our group, but that's really not what's important. We did a, a company-wide survey, and these were not multiple choice, but the 350 associates gave some one-word answers to things, and the three words that stuck out the most were relationships, community, and quality. And we dug into that a little bit more, and what does that really mean? And what we realized is that though we do design, we really invested in the communities and the folks we work with. And uh, so we came up with the slogan of building communities. Again, we do design, but if you don't mind, I just wanted to briefly show you uh, this quick little video. 
that uh, came up with the lead to be collaboration and using the power of creativity and hard work to make a difference. In our hearts, our homes, the city, the nation, the world, we believe in hope, progress, beauty, and big ideas. Because we're not just an engineer and we're not just architects, we're artists, designers, thinkers, doers, makers, and storytellers dedicated to doing great work for good. We partner with passionate and like-minded individuals, businesses, organizations, and causes that have aggressive hopes and dreams for tomorrow and beyond. We believe that dreaming big is the only way to make big dreams come true, and that our solutions can only be as great as the people we serve. And it is that foundational concept that drives how we approach every project, big or small. Because the passion and drive of individuals leads the growth and development of what's next for us all. Together we will be smart, we will be relevant, we will be meaningful, we will be kind, supportive, enthusiastic, and at the very least, the very best. We are and will continue to be a collaborative organization driven by the power of building better, happier, healthier, thriving communities. And we are committed to working with folks who share our vision for realizing their full potential. This is who we are. This is what we do. Building So, hopefully that explains a little better than I can of a 60 or 70 year history, but that's what we really believe in. Most of us come from small towns. I did. My, my dad served on a, uh, on a city council for a number of years and uh, know how important each project is uh, to the community. So, that's, uh, that's really who we are and what we do. As far as I get this thing to, to go to the next. There we go. Hey, so I think I guess you've all seen in our uh, in the package probably some of our experience. So you can stop me at any time if we want to talk about anything in more detail. But again, we've done a number of projects uh, very similar to this. We um, uh, this is just a list of projects in the past ten years or so that would be similar to what you're looking at doing parts and, and such of that nature. Uh, this is a project here in here in Hay Hyder that Robert worked on. Uh, a few years ago, and uh, you got anything on? Yeah, as, as you guys are aware, we were involved in, in the original start of this uh, this concept, I guess, several years ago. Um, did the, the streetscape, they put in the sidewalks that are going to kind of continue through uh, the city park area, uh, as well as was kind of involved in the original planning of the master plan, helping put that together and stuff with uh, some different people and different things like that. So. Uh, so we already are, are familiar with kind of where we're headed here and uh, just would like to uh, move forward in, in working with that. Mm -hmm. This is a project we did in Opelika, which happens to be my hometown. And uh, not only did I put this in there because it's my hometown, but we're proud of this project because the city received a national award for it. And uh, what they did though really was it was a true public-private partnership and then the city took the first step in not only streetscapes but kind of a central city park area, uh, an area for the community to gather around. But all these businesses you see that are now vibrant, these are retail, they are, um, they are actual law offices and things of that nature. It is restaurants, a couple of bars and such mixed in, but none of that existed. You wouldn't have wanted to be down there at sunset. And now parents take their children there and they eat dinner out on the sidewalks and they gather on the lawn area and they throw frisbee and play, uh, play kickball and such, which is a lot of what I see happening across the street. I'm sure that's part of your vision for that too, which is why I put this in there to show what, what can happen when a city makes that first step. A number of examples of very similar things to what, to what you're looking at doing. I'll just get through these pretty quickly, but all the same type of concept of creating a, a city center, a uh, central park type area for the community to come together with pavilions, with uh, general green space, uh, various water type features, whether it's a pond or a fountain or uh, things of that nature. And then also tying in the historic components of the community, like I think you're thinking about in general, uh, you already have the caboose, but maybe tying in some type of stage depot type area. And that's what's important. And I'll mention with that is we actually do have a historic architect on staff. 
which we're very proud of. He does work across the southeast, so whether it's renovating an existing building or if it's a new structure, but we've got to make sure we, uh, we preserve those historic components of the community so this facility doesn't look kind of out of place. Um, so we utilize him for we get it together. Um, there we go. This is one we're doing right now in Camilla, another kind of community gathering area. This is what a gymnasium and a pool, but again, a, a general green space with a pavilion for parties and things. Um, this is uh, just the other end of the spectrum. This was a massive park project. This is in Montgomery. This is the Shakespeare Festival, but this included a community outdoor garden and amphitheater. So, I mean, this is going, the budget was not an object here, <laughs> so they went to the other end, but uh, some, a project we're very proud of. This is in downtown Montgomery, and again, uh, they accented this intersection with, with a water fountain, and uh, they actually changed the color of the water for various uh, things throughout the year. This is in Jackson, Georgia. I included this because this is a park, but and I'm gonna touch a second on our on the process, but I want to just note the the design elements and the pictures, and this is part of our process that we like to go through with you because this is your park, this is your project, and we're your consultant. And so what we want to do is understand your vision, your ideas, and in this case, this is next to a train depot. So all of this is train, train themed. The playground equipment, probably not exactly what you're considering here, but it's train themed. The benches, the trash cans, the bridge that we have going over, some water they have, even down to the gazebo, implementing kind of an industrial look of wood and, and metal and such that kind of matches up with train and, and depot type. So just that's kind of the way we try to theme things through the schematic design. Um, so what's our project approach? Well, the first thing we want to do is listen to you. And the way we often do that is through some type of mini charrette with your key stakeholders. That's probably many of you in this room. You may have a few others that you want to designate. So the first thing for us to do is listen. We may already have ideas, things of that nature, but that really doesn't do you a lot of good because this, again, is your community. So we want to listen to you first. Understand what's your vision. What are, what are the things you want in there? We know you started this, but some things may have changed. So then we want to pair that with our experience, the regional experience I mentioned to you. We've got a department that all they do are landscape projects and planning projects, just like you're talking about. We've got a group of about 10 folks that this is what they do every day. So you have Robert uh, as your local project manager. You have my, myself as your resource. Uh, you have Robert's team in Albany, plus then you would have the backing of our regional team <coughs> to work on this with you. Once we kind of do these little mini charrettes and we work on what we want this to be together, then we go back and we come up with a schematic design. Maybe it's two or three options. And we come back to you, like I was showing you a minute ago with that Jackson Park, and we show you some themes and some ideas that we've heard from you. Is this what you're thinking? And assuming that we look at two or three options and you may mix and match and say, here's what we want to do, then we move into the construction document phase. And in that phase, maybe we have two, three, four checkpoints, 25%, 50%, 90%, whatnot. And so we get the documents completed, but we don't leave you there either. Uh, then we move into construction administration. We're there with you probably, as Robert's done many times, and stay with you through the bidding and through the construction of the project because we want to ensure that what we discussed all the way back in the listening and the, and the, uh, the, the charrettes and the schematic design is what you end up with at the end of the day. And uh, so we'll be there through the whole process. And all of this really is to say, that we want to be your true partner. This is not a one-time project for us. Robert uh, and I have enjoyed working with you for these years, and we want to continue to do so. So our commitment to you is that we're going to be your partner. This is your project. It's not ours. And uh, if we were fortunate to work with you, we're your consultant. And uh, we also think we bring a team to the table that's experienced in Hay Hire and uh, someone you can trust in Robert. Robert, you have any final comments? Just in closing, I would like to just hammer on a little bit of what Jim said about you guys' involvement. Um, just as we've done with your engineering over the years, as I've done as, as your client manager over the years, as he said, it is your project. And uh, we want to continue that relationship as far as uh, making sure we give you what you want, not, not what we sit in an office and decide that you want to see in your city. It is your city. It is your park. It is your city complex. Um, so we definitely want to want to partner with you guys and, and move forward with that. And I, I think through this presentation, uh, 
you guys can see part of why I'm so excited about the, the merger that has happened and we're just excited to be able to move forward and uh, we love the opportunity to partner with you guys on uh, something outside of engineering and uh, kind of move forward and, and help you um, grow your community into, into what I, I know a lot of you guys have envisioned it to be. Um, and we'll open it up to any questions you guys may have at this point. Council have any questions for me? I've never done a perfect presentation. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> what is a mini charrette? So a charrette is just a, um, it's just a, it can be uh, two hours, sometimes they're a day, sometimes they're two or three day meetings where we come together and really the goal of it is to gather your thoughts and your ideas. Mm -hmm. And so the charrette is just a brief meeting to, to gather these ideas. There's multiple ways to do it. And sometimes you put pictures on the wall and, and folks go over and make a check mark or they put a post that they like that or they don't like this. Or, it's just a way to gather the thoughts of key stakeholders, community members who need to have their voice heard. Sometimes in a setting like this, it is some downtown businesses, or things of that nature, who will, who will really care about how this turns out. Some key citizens, garden clubs, or what you know, y'all decide that. But the real point of it is, uh, I call it a mini charrette because sometimes we do a charrette they be two or three days. I think for a project like this, we could do it in a day. Um, depending on the group size, we might break that into, if we had a, a lot of folks, we might break that into two or three meetings throughout the day, a couple of hours here, a couple of hours. Um, but that's, that's the idea of a charrette. So when I use the term mini, I just mean I don't think we need three days for this. But I, okay. I think the day's worth of coming down. It'd be Robert and I. Plus, uh, we've got a gentleman named Larry Watts, who is our director of planning. So he travels the southeast, and this is really what he does, is lead these these sessions. And again, I don't want to reinvent the wheel because I know y'all have put a lot of thought into where you are, but things change and ideas and you know life kind of adjusts. And so you may we want to freshen that up and make sure we're we're all on the same page. So that's the purpose. I think it's important for the council to recognize and disclose at this point too that uh, no matter what uh, firm uh, the council does choose, uh, the firm of Goodwin Mills and Taylor will be involved with the project in some form or fashion. And the only reason why I say that is because they are our engineer of record and uh, do have all the plans and specifications on our uh, utility infrastructure and are our primary point of contact uh, as the city engineer. So um, you know, I just wanted to say that going forward, uh, depending on if we engage them with architectural services, uh, any of these firms would have to work with GMC as well uh, to uh, deal with the infrastructure component. Other questions, thoughts? Uh, we have no more. We appreciate it. All right. So sure. thank y'all for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did, did y'all like my drawing I did in that video? Yeah. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> I wish I could. Say, you know, the person that did that. Was, uh, y'all ever refuse to go to UPS? Have that commercial where they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same guy. And uh, anyway, I wish I could take credit.